Hello, this is Dan Slowey, co-principal Pulaski High School, where every day is a Raider day. I wanted to take this opportunity to discuss our school report card, which was released to the public by the Department of Public Instruction on October 22nd. The school report card is one component of the new statewide accountability system for school districts and uses multiple measures of student learning to provide schools information regarding its performance. The learning targets for this presentation are mainly to help others get a better understanding of what the new report card looks like as well as its components. We also wanted to provide you with the contact person you should have questions about our school report card and its data. Before taking a look at the report card, I think the first thing we need to do is take a look at the scale scores by which the students are going to be measured on this report cards as well as future report cards. Historically, we've used the Wisconsin Knowledge and Concepts Examination, or WKCE. They've been around since the 1990s, and the No Child Left Behind Act allowed states to create their own proficiency scores. Wisconsin has used the WKCE scores as a way to gauge student achievement. Now the state is moving towards the National Assessment for Educational Progress, or NAEP scores. These scores have been considered to be the National Report Card. A way to help you understand the difference between the two scores are through a couple of different scenarios. For instance, if you're going 60 miles per hour, you're either going 60 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour. You're going the same speed, they're just measured under different scales. Same thing if you're looking at your weight in terms of kilograms or pounds, you're looking at a different scale of measurement, but the weight is still the same. And of course, for everybody in Wisconsin, we know that the winter, the winter is cold, regardless of whether you're looking at Celsius or Fahrenheit. It is still the same cold temperatures. Please keep in mind, as we are looking at the new report cards, we're still looking at the same students with the same achievement previously. We're just looking at a different scale by which our students are now measured. These new measurements have been applied to the past five WKCE data. Now, on to our actual report card from the Wisconsin for Pulaski High School. The school report card is broken down into four sections. We are going to talk about three of the four parts today, including one, overall accountability scale and rating, two, priority areas, and three, the Wisconsin Student Assessment System Percent Proficient and Advanced. Let's start with the overall accountability score and rating, which provides us with an index accountability number. Pulaski High School received an index accountability score of 79.5, which puts us into the rating of exceeds expectations. Please note that there are five rating categories. Fails to meet expectations, meets few expectations, meets expectations, exceeds expectations, and significantly exceeds expectations. The Pulaski Community School District is very pleased that all of our school scores in the, in the meets expectations or exceeds expectations. One caution I want to provide is that the number of index score isn't a percentage, so shouldn't be equal to 0 to 100 percentage scale, and shouldn't be interpreted as an A, B, C, D, or F school. Our goal at Pulaski High School is to continue to improve and reach the next rating level. The next section of the school report card we will take a look at is the priority areas located in the upper right hand of the report card. This section includes four detailed areas to tell us how our school is doing in relation to the state. Each section provides a comparison to the state level which can be found in the last column. The four sections included in the priority areas included student achievement, student growth, closing gaps, and on-track and post-secondary readiness. Our scores are in the first column and based on a maximum score of 100. Let's take a look at the student achievement section, which provides us with how we did with reading and math achievement, each worth 50 points. PHS scored 83.8 on the student achievement section, which was 17 higher than the state. Our scores were especially higher in math over the state as well as area schools. The next section of the priorities area, which was student growth section, which measures how students do from year to year in math and reading. Since high school only takes the WKCE in 10th grade, 
We don't have scores for student growth since it is, me it is a measurement from year to year on the state assessment. Closing gaps in the third section of the priority section that provides us with performance data of specific student groups such as students with disabilities, economically disadvantaged, English language learners, and ethnic groups compared to their student peers. As we have analyzed our school report card, we have found this an area of improvement for our school. The fourth area we will focus on is priority area, which is called the on-track and post-secondary readiness, which uses reliable indicators to determine if students are preparing students to be college, career, and community ready. These indicators include the graduation rate and ACT participation slash performance for the high school level, eighth grade math achievement and attendance rates for the middle school level, and third grade reading achievement and attendance rates. Our school is on track in preparing students for college and career readiness with a 90 score compared to the state score of 82.3. The final section that I will share about the school report card located in the lower right hand corner is the five years of data regarding the proficient and advanced percentages on the Wisconsin Student Assessment System. I shared earlier the information regarding the new cut scores from the National Assessment of Education Progress. This section provides graphs for the Wisconsin Knowledge and Concept, ex concept Examination based on these new cut scores for the past five years, 2007 through 2011 of WKCE Math and Reading. Each year will provide a comparison of the percentage of students who achieve proficient and advanced in the school for reading and math compared to the state percentage of advanced and proficient. October 22nd, the school report cards were released to the public and media. Thus, we were able to provide you this information regarding Pulaski High School's report card. Besides this presentation, you can locate Pulaski High School's report card on the school's webpage. If you would like more information regarding the changes in cut scores or school report card, please check out the Department of Public Instruction's website at dpi.wi.gov slash sig slash index dot html. The school report card's multiple measures of student learning will provide us with valuable guidance on how our school is doing and where we can improve. We will continue to identify our strengths and promptly move to address these challenges. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me at dbslowey at pulaskyschools.org or my phone number is 920-822-6712. Make it a Raider day. Thank you.